will do the copy just in case. Uh, later. Okay, so what is the fence? Fencing is uh, to create a loops, let's say, in order to make a supportive lines, let's say, yeah. Okay, so what we can do, we can select our multicode tool and start create supported edges in order to support the shape because if we will press the free button as you can see it's like a boomerang or something like that yeah but it's losing shape it's very very soft so let's let's make supported edges in order to maintain the shape yeah something like that will be cool let's check this out and here we have a issue with a support line as i can see okay so we missed in here one yeah great let's check it again wonderful okay so this is a fencing we created supported lines in order to Let's say stay with the same shape and get around the corners. And um, nowadays, in Maya, it's a great thing it calls chamfer because uh, previously, when we was using uh, bevel, let's say tools, we had this uh, rounded corner, let's say. So uh, let's make a plane just in order to explain what do I mean. So, uh, I'll add the plane in here, yeah, extrude it, yeah, okay, and uh, later on I will probably show the differences, let's say comparing in uh, fencing and with the bevel. Okay, so in order to get same shape, with a bevel what we can do we can select all mesh or just the mesh because we need to bevel all these lines yeah and just press ctrl b but let's see on this support okay so what i will do now the fastest way will be select everything and deselect which lines i really don't need yeah and go into the bevel so let's press ctrl p not with the bevel and probably fraction will be 0 0.1 something like that and um, okay so we're missing lines in here yeah so let's add what we do put to our geometry We'll add a segment additional, yeah. Okay, so let's check this out. What do we have? Okay, so fencing, bevel, yeah, great. So, in here, definitely we're missing connection. So, let's go to our multi cut and just connect these guys from the top and the bottom great so basically they both in quads working fine but let's check this out um, okay this is the fencing this is the bevel and uh, Simple bevel has this rounded corner by default. Yeah. Okay, dokie. So let's select them both. Press three in order to go to the smooth preview. Going to the front. Let's see camera. I'll increase probably a bit uh, our view. Okay. So um, as you can see, this corner are rounded. And all this line is a uh, straight and sharp. Whoopsie, but straight and sharp. Let's move to the our beveled 
guy, yeah, bevel chip. You can see at this one, smooth corner, but you see that transition, still trying to lift that line, and it's a so big angle, let's say. See how big it is, and in here, so small, only the rounded uh, corner, let's say. Yeah, so this is a one different, and uh, in the Maya 2014, probably 15, I don't remember, yeah, probably 15. We did not had Chandra if I am right, maybe I'm wrong, but in any case, so let's select everything, Ctrl B, point one subtraction. And remove the chunky. And what you can see, this is a old-fashioned bevel, yeah, or standard bevel without a chamfer. And that one with it, with that chamfer on. Let's say off. Okay, so, so you can see it's very similar. Yeah, it's uh, some kind of wiggleness, but uh, basically it's the same. Yeah. And mesh looking great. So, guys, as you can see, simple like that. About the uh, big of a headache, you can do something similar like a fencing with a bevel, fast and curious. Great. So, this is the main reasons, let's say, in fencing and uh, beveling. I oh, forgot to mention that with a bevel you can save some edges, let's say polygons. So our fence mesh from edge perspective 252 uh, was beveling with our chamfer. As you can see, the same result, yeah, because we selected all edges, but with the bevel you can select only edges which you want to bevel, yeah. So, um, as you can see, we have 196. So, yeah, great. And basically, select all the edges, remove the chamfer, and save some edges. Okay, guys, so, see ya, and goodbye.